Hi guys, it's Aoife from Words of Clover and I'm here to do one of my favourite videos of the year which is the announcement of the 2024 Irish Readathon. For anybody who is new here, the Irish Readathon is a readathon that takes place in March for the entire month of March and its main focus is to encourage people to read and pick up as many Irish books or Irish authors as possible. So as I said, this readathon is a one month long, it takes place from the 1st of March to the 31st of March and you can read as many books as you want during that time. We don't have a set number of books that anyone needs to read. If you read one book that is perfect and um, you have like completed the readathon. This year we actually have an extra co-host which is really really exciting so I always co-host this readathon with uh, Leanne over at Leanne Rose and this year we are bringing on board Lisa over at Lisa in Bookland who is a fantastic Irish booktuber who I highly recommend. If you are not subscribed to her already you definitely should be because her videos are amazing, her personality is just lovely and I always get so much out of the uh, videos that she puts up and the types of books she reads. I'm always finding new types of books, some that are ones that I may have never heard of or I might never have thought about picking up and she always gives such good book recommendations so I'm so excited to have her on board as a co-host and yeah um, everyone go over and welcome her as a new co-host of the Irish Readathon and subscribe to her if you haven't already. So as always we have some prompts to go along with the Readathon that people can check off if they want to throughout the month and these are like you don't have to do these you could just read any Irish book and you have participated as I've said but if you want something fun to do something to check off a little bingo board this is uh, perfect. So as always one of our first prompts is just to read a book with a green on the cover this is something so if you are, don't have access um, to any Irish books or Irish authors this is a nice way of taking part in the readathon without having to you know go beyond your means uh, to be able to access any Irish books. So it doesn't have to be an Irish book it can just be a book with green on the cover so where if it is an Irish book I mean that's great but if it's not it's okay and um, you can still just read a book with green on the cover and you have participated in the readathon. The next prompt is one that we know from feedback from people that they've always enjoyed that we keep it that we keep in and that is to read a children's book an Irish children's book so this can be middle grade or it can be YA whatever you want and um, as long as you're reading an Irish children's book then that is uh, perfect. The next prompt is one that I'm really excited about because this year is actually our seventh year of doing the Irish Readathon which seems crazy it doesn't feel like we've been doing it for seven years now but this is our seventh anniversary for the Irish Readathon. So for the third prompt we are going to ask you to read an Irish book that is in some way related to the number seven. You can interpret, interpret this any way you want to. It could be published in 2007, 2017. It could be the seventh book that you read during the month. It could be the author's seventh book. There could be seven somewhere in the title. Whatever you want. If it's some way related to the number seven, you can take it off this list and obviously it has to be an Irish book. The next prompt is kind of fun. Last year we did a prompt that had to do with buzzwords. This year we're doing something slightly similar but instead we are asking you to read a book that is related to our cover prompts. So these are books that have one of these things on the cover um, and I will tell you the list of these now. So the pr cover prompts are animals, books, transport, food, people, a fantasy element, a house, trees or stars. So any of those nine things can be on a cover of an Irish book and you could tick off this prompt. Then the last official prompt is to read an Irish book in your favourite genre. So you can kind of just choose whichever genre you want, whatever is your favourite. If there's any books that you've been like holding on to that you're really excited to read because they're in your favourite genre, you can pick that up during the Irish Readathon. And then as always, we have a group read. And for this year, our 2024 Irish Readathon group read is The Rachel Instant by Caroline O'Donoghue, which I'm very excited about. If you guys know, have been watching my channel, this is actually on my favourite books of the year for 2023. So this is a book that I have read before, but I think that people are going to really, really enjoy this. I'm already really excited to reread this and also talk to people about this um, in our Discord channel as well. Really excited to reread this, maybe get things out of it the second time round that I missed the first and yeah, just enjoy it all over again. So um, yeah, I'm really, really excited about this one. So I will leave all the links down below, all the information that you need for the Irish Readathon. As always, we do have 
have our Discord group, which I will leave the link to below if you haven't uh, joined that already. It's a really nice way. It's a really nice community of people who are joining in. People can just like discuss their current reads, what they've just read, what they're thinking about the books they're reading. And it's just a lovely like little community of people who are celebrating Irish books during the month of March. And it's open for the entire year as well. So um, sometimes people will like put in things about um just other books they're reading or book releases that are coming out that are exciting, that are Irish. And yeah, it's just a lovely place to be. And we also have a story graph challenge as we always do every year. So I will leave that linked down below if anyone wants to join that challenge um, on story graph as well. And it's just a nice way of having the prompts together um, and being able to remember the prompts and seeing what fits for each book. So I will leave all of those links down below as well as the links to my lovely co-hosts, Leanne and Lisa, and then all the other information you need. I'd love to know if you are planning to take part in the Irish Readathon, if you have any books lined up already and what you think of the prompts, the group read. Uh, yeah, I would love to know. This is like, as I said, my favourite video of the year to do. I'm always so excited and so like touched by everyone who always uh, takes part in the readathon, who supports the readathon. It means so, so much to us. And yeah, as I said, this is seven years of doing this and we wouldn't be able to do this for seven years if people weren't taking part in it every year and giving us the encouragement to continue doing it and telling us how much they enjoy it every year. Yeah, so thank you guys so much for supporting this uh, readathon for seven years. And here is to another great readathon. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys again next time.